Good morning, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's see what's on the agenda today. It is Sam's birthday. Sam likes the skateboard, so I assume he'll like pizza. We're going to make a pizza for Sam. Weather report. Tomorrow will be bright and sunshiny. The fortune teller says that the spirits are pissed. It's a rerun for the Queen of Sauce, so we're going to let her be. We're going to turn off the... Um, does our, does our wife like pink cake? Thank you. This looks special. There you go, sweetheart. Put that in there. We're going to hold on to... Uh, you know what? Maybe we put a truffle in. No, it'll, it'll be truffle oil is what we would need. We wouldn't need the truffle. The truffle oil. Pizza. We need a tomato. Well, it's tomato season, so let's go outside and grab a tomato. Oh! Oh, good morning, Chorus. Gunther is here. I hope it's not too early, but I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Well, thanks, buddy. Oh, he says. I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that has been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but it's still beautiful. You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. Hey, man, that's great. Thank you so much. Let's get out here and start harvesting some wheat. Hey, our horse is here. It only took one day for him to show up. Hello, horsey. Grover. Millie. Chew. None of these look good. Yoka. Mano. Fine. Zubba. Ra. I bet these are all backers. I bet these names are from backers. I bet they're not like randomly generated. Newpert. <laughs> Zamers. Dallers. Kushu. Man, none of these. The sick. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> oh, go. Not gonna have our, our, our horse named that. Jate? Jate it is. Hello, Jate. Welcome to the farm. I'll ride you here in a moment, but I'm probably gonna end up moving you. Probably gonna take down the decorative area there and put you, your deal over there next to that. We're gonna need to uh, get some wheat today and plant some wheat. It looks like. Okay, none of that stuff is ready to be picked up. That's fine. Tons of batteries. I'm going to go ahead and drop off some of this stuff here. Put the wheat up. We're going to keep the, the regular wheat with us. And we're going to... Um, we're going to we're gonna put that into the seed makers when we go in there. We're going to get tons of wheat seeds. I really can't think of anything else. And I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and drop off. Well, not there. And not in here. Where am I going to put the street lights? I guess I'll put them in here. I'll go visit the Lost and Found, too. Because maybe the Lost and Found will have our street lights. I kind of feel like maybe that's where they'll show up. And I think the Lost and Found is in the Mayor's House. So we'll go to the Mayor's House today and we'll check the Lost and Found. Hey, look at that. There's those tomatoes we needed for the pizza. Might as well go up here right quick and get the pizza cooked. Take that to Samuel today. Let's go check on the animals. We don't have any... Are those radishes ready? Yep. Two radishes are ready. Go ahead and snag those. And then down here. That looks fine. That looks fine. And, ooh, ooh, opportunity for... No, not not that. There we go. Perfect. Four iron ore. Let's go in here, and... The truffles were out here. So I guess that's where we're looking for truffles in the morning, if the, if the pig finds them. Good morning, everyone. 
We don't need the shears because the sheep doesn't look like it's ready to... The sheep doesn't look like it's ready to give wool. If I'm not mistaken, we took milk yesterday from the goats. I am mistaken. They have milk for us today. Perfect. Let's go and put that up. Go out here and open them up. And then here we just have to pet these guys. Do not eat the egg. We're on a goodwill mission here. Now let's go check the bunny. The bunny looks like it's still a baby. Yep, it's still a baby. Needs to grow up. All right. All the animals are out. Chickens and... Oh, look! We got two! Nice! I guess you do have to just let it mature. And the older it gets, the more fruit that it'll give per day. That makes so much more sense. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, one fruit? I was just like, I don't think that's worth my time. Look at that. Tomatoes. Uh, is that a corn there? It is a corn. Sneaky, sneaky corn hiding in there. Almost didn't even see it. And hops. I, I am just 100% in love with the idea that we get this year round. That we never have to worry about what we're growing again. It's so great. And there's some wheat seeds already. We have a full inventory, so let's go ahead and move some eggs up here to the top. Actually, um, yeah, I was just going to say, we could do the truffle oil, but we don't have any place to put the, the oil. Let's move some more eggs up here. B-E-A, beautiful. Right. I feel like there's something else I should be doing. Am I just going to wait for these to get done? I guess so. Yeah, I don't need to wait that long. I only got two more to go. Maybe maybe I'm thinking maybe I should get the the steel and the gold up and going again. Perfect. We'll just wait for that to get done. Drop off. Uh, really nothing. I don't think I have any, any truffle oil, so I guess I'm going to hang on to that. The goat milk I can put up, and the egg I can put up. But I guess, yeah, let's do this right quick. Whoops. I'll do some, because I just, I just got rid of, like, ten iron. So let's go ahead and get some more iron going. Put that back. And then poop poop. Perfect. Thank you. And let's go. That's fifteen. Ah, oh, we're one short. One short. Perfect. All right. Well, what am I going to do here? Oh, I just want to get off the horse. Perfect. You just right click again. Lovely in its simplicity. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Put that up. And then the artisan. Look at the purple shoes. The purple shoes really, really like stand out now. Uh, truffle oil. All right, so we have two truffle oil. We have the pizza to deliver. Let's go deliver the pizza. It's the uh, Sam's birthday. What is this? Uh, star fruit. Yep, it's gonna take me a moment to get that star fruit, brother. That's yeah, gonna take a moment. We have $21,000. We probably need to go cut down a ton of trees and probably need to go into the mine. Uh, this is Sam's house, I believe. Is Sam here? There's his dad waiting patiently for the star fruit. He just stands in corners and looks at things a lot. A little unnerving. Well, I'll tell you what, let's not go into the mine. Let's go into the sewer because we got the sewer. Well, I really want to find Sam for his birthday. I'd hate to miss it. 
I'm not quite sure where he would be at 150. Man, the horse is fast, but not insanely maneuverable. If I were Sam, where would I be? If I were Sam, where would I be? There's the wife. I don't think I've ever seen Sam in the library. Is he in here? Oh, it's closed on Wednesday, so probably not. Maybe he has a checkup? Nope. Where is Sam? The beach. Sam is on the beach, of course. Of course. It's summertime. And he's a young man. Here he is, right here, standing on the edge of the pier, staring off into the dang it. <laughs> ah, clay. Wonderful. Always need some more clay. Ah, maybe he's hanging out with Elliot. Nope. 3.40 on a Wednesday. Oh, she's painting down here on the beach. That's cool. I never noticed that before. Jeez Louise, have you ever needed some coral? I guess it was the day after a storm. Sam? Nope. She's painting the tide pools. Hello. I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. But that's like a no-brainer, right? Like, who doesn't think the... The sound of the ocean is beautiful. Well, I don't know where Sam is at. Calling all amateur paleontologists 100... Oh, I've looked at these already. Not, not impressed. Um, can I go up through here? I cannot. I can only go up through this way. Penny, you're friends with Sam. Where is Sam? There's Alex. Ah, Sam. Oh, he was at Jojo Mart. That's right. I think he works there. I've never been inside Jojo Mart. Happy birthday! You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Told you. Told you he would love pizza. Alright. Now we're going to go to the sewer because we got the key. I hope we don't have to crack any heads there. You unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key. An ancient dog statue. Statue of uncertainty. The statue can help you change professions. Make an offering of 10,000. No. Oh, man. We can redo our skills. We can redo our skills. Ooh. The junk is that. What's this? A human visitor? This is most unusual. I'm Krobos, merchant of rare and exotic goods. I find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? I would love to buy something. He's got 10 void essences for $100. He's got 10 solar essences for 80 bucks. He's got 5 tilapia for $200. The crap is a void egg. A jet black egg with red flex. It's warm to the touch. $5,000. Interesting. Sign of the vessel. A decorative piece for your farm. Monster fireplace. 20000 Starred. Ooh. This is that thing that like permanently increases your, uh, your health or something. A mysterious fruit that empowers the, those who eat it. The flavor is like a dream. A powerful experience. Personal experience, yet difficult to describe to others. Yes. I don't think we're going to buy it for 20000 Ooh. The golden handle quivers with raw potential. Hold this scepter to the sky and return home at will. Two million dollars. A wicked statue recipe. There's something unsettling about the look of this statue. My goodness, my goodness. Wow. 
Nice to meet you, young man. I will have to say goodbye for now. But it's cool to finally get the uh, finally get the key to that place. Six o'clock. Uh, what is the best use of our time? The mine again? Just to go down there and try to knock out a couple of levels just for fun? Or, I tell you what, looking for some more plant fiber because we almost have the loom. We just need one or two more plant fiber and we got it. Just one or two more plant fiber. The horse makes things a lot more interesting. Look how fast we're going. I wonder if I can drink coffee and ride the horse if that stacks. I bet it does. There's Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Maru. Nope, can't do anything out there. Hello, Linus. Man, no plant fiber. Come on. Where is the plant fiber? Oh, I'm, I'm not going to pass this up, though. I can't believe the grass isn't growing out here. I really thought I would come back to just an insanely large area full of grass that I could just scythe down and get 300, 400 wheat out of it. But this grass isn't doing anything. It's not growing at all. I'm not quite sure why it isn't. I don't know if I need to be present for it to grow. Like every day I have to visit. And if I do, then there's a... Oh, is that a diamond? Nice! Emeralds, diamonds. I love the quarry. I think that's a tree. It'd be nice to get a couple of units of coal, but whatever. Perfect. Alright, let's go to the forest. Let's see if maybe we can snag one or two fibers in the forest and then we'll go back home we'll make the loom and we'll get that wool turned over into cloth and then I think we can make the mill if we have cloth we can make the mill and the mill will help mill the rice then we'll get the rice into like a better form and we can actually sell it at that point can you pick up things on horseback no you have to get off the horse don't know how I feel about that Is there any... Oh, you don't slow down when you run through the grass with the horse. Can you open... Well, we're, we'll just go this way so we don't have to worry about opening it. I see no plant fiber. Eh. Just like in real life, you gotta... Gotta get off your horse to open the gate. Okay. Come on now, we're looking for just some more plant fiber. Just a little bit more plant fiber. Just a little baby bit of plant fiber is all we need. <laughs> I think someone is upset in the house. We might have a visitor here in a moment. I try to play at night when everything is calm, but you know, some nights the drama just flourishes. Man, the game needs to produce more plant fiber, man. I can't believe how difficult this stuff is to come by, especially in the, the summer when you would think this stuff is just growing like crazy. Like, where are you supposed to find it if not out and about. Well, we didn't check the far end over here. Mainly because there was like a bunch of rocks in the way. Is that it? Is that? No, that's not plant fiber. Uh, yeah, I don't see any. I'll have to come back tomorrow. It's getting late. It's 12 o'clock. Well, the first day with a horse was pretty cool. But I think we covered a lot more ground. Ah, you can open it while on horseback. You have to be right up against it, though. Oh, we don't need to. We're going over here. Never mind. I guess we could cut these for the evening. 
There we go. Tomorrow's going to be a sunny day, so it doesn't really matter if we left them up or not. It just makes it easier for us to milk them and everything. Um, I have a little bit of baby bit of time. Maybe I can just run in here right quick. And maybe get some more of this work done. Yep. Oh, full inventory. Okay, what are we selling here? What we got? Almond berry jelly goes. The corn goes. Pickled radishes, we don't have any. Hot pepper jellies out of here. Truffle oil goes. The diamond is out. The coral. The clam is out of here. The more coral goes. If I can get rid of the emerald too. Tell you what, let me take that stuff back. You can take the cheese and the mayonnaise. And then... The egg... Okay, I think I think I'm gonna have to go intervene. Feels like there's a meltdown happening. Okay, I'm gonna have to go intervene. So I'm gonna leave this up because I think that pauses everything. Give me one moment, folks. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. But father first. Um, what do I want to ferment? I feel like I want to do like pumpkins. I do. Want, I want to do something big for the fermentation. I really don't have the time though. I want to get something started. Let's ferment some. Oranges. That's what everybody wants, right? Fermented oranges. All right, let's push that button. Move all that stuff back over. Um, I think we're just going to go home. Yeah, I think we're just going to go home. Now, watch this. We're going to use our our coffee here at night to try to make it into our bed before we <laughs> pass out. Super fast. That's what they say they do. You know, they say if you. If you want, you can drink a coffee right before you go to sleep and it's supposed to help. Boom. Hey, level nine mining. Look at that. Pickaxe proficiency. And now we can actually build the crystal, crystallarium. What do we get here? What did we turn in this time? I think we turned in something really special. What was it the truffle oil? Oh, a thousand dollars for truffle oil. That's pretty good. That puts us at like maybe what twenty six thousand, twenty seven thousand dollars. Super good, lovely. We're trying to get fifty thousand so we can get the next level for the house. All right, we don't have anything to do today, but we have Demetrius's birthday tomorrow. Let's check this. The weather report. Tomorrow will be sunny. Wonderful. The spirits are neutral today. Hey, we have an episode of Living Off the Land. Here's an idea: start a wild tree orchard. Put tra tappers on those trees and harvest the valuable syrup. Or don't. See if I care. Wow, he's a little... He's a little testy today. Wonder what the wife will be doing. Put that stuff up. Oh, three. We do have pickled radishes. Nice! We can make a little bit of money today off of that. Put that button there. Get all that lined up. Man, it looks so good. Um... Then the ocean. Ooh, that took care of all of that stuff. How wonderful. How wonderful. And then that was the last two. Great. Let's go up here to this thing with an unlimited. Uh, oh, how, did that, how does that work? How does it? <laughs> you see that? We planted wheat seeds there, but it, it looks like it's not... It's not hoed anymore. That's weird. I wonder how that works. Oh, and look, we have things to pick up. We have peppers to pick up. We have coffee to pick up. The sunflowers will be ready in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow even. Blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. I love harvesting blueberries. My goodness gracious. Ah, the, the ancient fruit. It's rocking and rolling too. Wonderful. Lovely. Let's come down here and look. The rat, the red cabbage isn't ready just yet. The hops. Hops are ready to rock and roll though, but the hops, we get those every single day in the summer. I'm so excited. You know what? Let's just take a detour right quick. What is it? What do you need to make the crystallarium? 100 stones, pretty much. Two iridium bars, one battery pack, and one gold bar. I see, I see. That's not that bad. We don't have the Iridium. We'll have to go to the um, desert place for that. Maybe we should go there today. Oh, there's the drum block. 
And the flute block is right next to it. That's super nice. Um, I kind of felt like one day I told myself I was going to make a bunch of kegs. And I never got around to doing it. I think I went into town and bought the horse instead. Oh, we're back to one. Oh, was there a day that I didn't come over here and harvest them? Is that why I had two? Dude, I thought we were getting... I thought we had like the, like the, like I thought it, like after a while you got two a day, then you get three a day. But I think I just didn't harvest it one day. I think I just forgot. All right, pet you, pet you, pet you. Get your wool. Thank you, pet you, pet you. Grab your milk. Go over here to you. Get some chocolate milk. Perfect. Might be worth it to get the auto grabber to get one of those installed in here so that we don't have to come and do that every day. Hey, a rabbit's foot. Perfect. And the bunny rabbit is fully grown. Lovely, lovely. We'll go today and we'll turn in the rabbit's foot. And then we just need three apples and a pomegranate. And we will be done with this run of Stardew Valley. Let's open up the doors. Let them out. Uh, I need to go over there and grab that stuff too. But it doesn't it doesn't go away like overnight. So we have a we have a moment. I always think these things are ready to rock and roll. They just are never ready. <laughs> like they always look so done. I see a a hot pepper hiding back there behind the corn. Any other corn? Any other corn ready to go? Anything else? Nope, just the hops. Let's hop right to it and pick them up. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's go over here to this place. See if we can't get this stuff rocking and rolling too. Grab that. I doubt we're gonna have, yeah, we don't have one. Oh, we do, we do, because I just picked one up. Perfect, I was excited. I doubt we have one to put away. Get some milk. And we don't have the goat milk today, so it's just gonna be that and that. Perfect. Over well, here to this, put that stuff up. And I feel like we can go ahead and start putting the hops in here. Maybe even like strawberries. Because we're gonna get we're gonna get tons of strawberries and tons of hops from the from this greenhouse. Snag that. It's ten o'clock in the morning and all of our chores are done. Let's see if we can't Oh, I should put the eggs in there. Gosh darn it. I hate when I forget little things like that and have to run back. Okay, um, the corn, that's the fall, so we gotta run back in there, and we gotta put those two up, and then we gotta put that on the deal, and it's ten. I wanna go to the, I wanna go to the, uh, the place, I wanna go to the, uh, desert area today. And do fun desert area things, but I gotta have tons of food for that. So I need to go start cooking. It's 1040. I only got there by one o'clock. I think that's doable. Um mushrooms, please. Take some good ones with me. And let's go let's go see what I can cook up. And I'll just take a bunch of like random stuff with me. I wanna do the the fried mushrooms, take as many of those as I can. Uh, I'm not going to be doing foraging. That's health and energy. That's pretty good health and energy. Take a chocolate cake with me. I'll take the plum pudding with me. And then I'll just take... There we go. And I'll just have those to eat. Alright. And then the rabbit's foot. I'll leave the rabbit's foot here. Oh, I can't. I don't really have a place. I'll find a place to put the rabbit's foot. Hey, sweetheart. She's... Oh, right. Dang it. There we go. I keep watering that. I keep forgetting. Uh, we'll put the rabbit's foot right here. And that'll just be something that we have to remember that we have. 
Okay. I think we're good. Let's go to the desert oasis. I should bring the teleportation totem. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back right quick and grab a teleportation totem. I don't remember where I put it, though. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Nope. Is this it? Nope. Oh, I think I put it inside the house. Ah! I want to get out there by 1 o'clock. That's my goal. I did. To the beach, to the farm. Alright. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. And the dog, I didn't put water in his bowl, so I need to get back home with time to go fill up the dog's bowl. Yes. Alright, Pam. Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll, girl. No one's birthday today, right? No one's birthday, so. Yeah, hopefully I can get more than, what was it, like one stinking level the last time I did this, so. Alright, into the mines we go. Alright, stage one. Perfect, we're already... I didn't bring any bombs. Ah! Perfect. Avoid essence right off the bat. And we need tons of stone. I'll just grab all that. Come over here. It looks like there's going to be coal here, too. I see the coal cart. Hopefully that's not just for show. Hopefully that's like a real coal cart. Ah! Giant slime. Yep, yeah, there's the coal cart. Nice. Desperately need that coal. Alright, now let's see if we can find a way down. I don't think we have to kill the slime. I think we can just find it underneath one of these rocks. I'm tempted to go kill the slime though, obviously. He'll drop something. I know he will. He'll drop the dwarf scroll that I so desperately want. Uh, nope. The hunt continues. Come on, give me a way down. I wonder if you come here on like a good luck day if you find if you find the stairs like more readily than if you come here on like a neutral or bad luck day. You know what I mean? Like a good luck day, it might be like, oh, you have a one in three chance of finding the stairs now, but on a bad luck day, it's one in fifty. You know? Ah, good. Oh, look at this area. This is super nice. Ah, devil fish. Beautiful. I don't know what that means. I think that means things are coming off the screen to hurt you. Yeah, I see that. I like that guy's coming from off the screen. Ah. I forget that things here hit a lot harder than they hit in a regular mine. Like you can die here like so quick. Like right now, like we're gonna die right freaking now. Yep. Ah. Oh. I forget that they hit for like 14 and 15. Yes. Thank you, doctor. Oh. Lucky to be alive. We lost Obsidian's Edge. Are you kidding? We lost Obsidian's Edge. We lost our sword. I'm sick of preparing these samples. <laughs> oh. I guess this is counting us as visiting. Just scoop it off the floor. He won't know the difference. Tell Harvey it was my fault. Tell him it was an accident. Here he comes. Oh, I heard a noise. Is everything okay? Yeah. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about the sample. We'll just get another one. Happy face. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. 
Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. Aw, happy face. Chorus, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? No, man, I almost died. You just did emergency surgery on me like two seconds ago. Ah, Chorus, I was just about to write you a letter. Apparently, we needed to come in here and do this. You see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual checkup. Uh-oh. Now, now, there's no need to worry. I'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. He's going to tell me I have to eat less pizza. I'm, what, am I not going to go in? <laughs> hmm, okay, hold still, please. Uh, say, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, you can stop. I just need to check your vitals. Hmm, your pulse is high. I'm a little nervous. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. And also the emergency surgery that you just did on me, where I almost died. Well then, you seem very healthy, Chorus. Just make sure to not overwork yourself on the farm. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, no problem. So I know what you're saying. You're saying, hey man, how are you some like, like real true blue gamer, but you just got wrecked in the uh in the mines and i'm gonna let you in on a secret like i typically do well in games where you're supposed to fight and supposed to have combat but games like this where fighting and combat really isn't the main draw of the game where it's kind of shoehorned in like i typically panic and don't do well just because the movements aren't natural i mean i know it sounds like an excuse and it is to a certain extent oh i've never seen that bird before that's interesting um, and it is to an extent, but at the same time, like, it's also, like, it's just not, it's this, like, the combat's not good. It, it overwhelms you very quickly. Greetings. Hello. Item recovery. Obsidian's Edge, please. Thank you. So we should get Obsidian's Edge back in the mail very soon. Very happy to see that. And it's four o'clock. And we have health and energy. What ought we do? And give Linus some bread. Here's some bread. A gift? How nice. Here's fried mushrooms. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. I'm not going into the mines today. <laughs> so I guess everybody could just take my... My, uh... What do you call them? Supplies? My foods. Let's go back home and let's grab... Oh, did I lose my totem? No, I didn't. Thank goodness. I should have totemed out. Like, I should have just, like, clicked on this and brought my totem up and just tried to totem out instead of dying. I saved $1,000. Spent 500 to get out there, too. Do you like fried mushrooms? No. This is a super gift. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Everyone likes fried mushrooms. Let's go to the community center and turn in that rabbit's foot. And then today is Thursday, so the traveling saleswoman isn't down there in the... Hey, Pam. The traveling saleswoman isn't down there to uh, to go see if she can if we can buy anything. Because I think she sells uh, apples. If we just had three apples and a pomegranate, man, we'd be done. Playthrough over. Go ahead and put that back up. Go over here, put all that jazz up. Do I have a place for bones? I guess I do. I have 25 bones. Look at that. So put that up. We have a bunch of ore, it looks like. Well, not a bunch, but we have a little bit of ore. And really, like, playing this game with a buddy, like, how cool would that be? Like, how cool would it be to play the game where you don't have to worry about fighting so terribly much because you're going to have somebody right there with you? That would be fantastic. All right, let's go into the shed and see if we can get some of this work, some of this stuff done in the shed. Um, I guess we'll do more iron. Actually, we don't have to choose because we're going to have... There we go. Bump, 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 bump. Come down here to this thing. Do the mayonnaise. Do the cheese. Come over here. We have some more eggs to send. There we go. Perfect.
And I guess we'll do gold. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna put that all up. Where did I put the rabbit's foot? Did I put it I didn't put it inside the house. I can't remember exactly where I put it. Do I need to water the doll or water the the horse? I don't feel like I need to. I feel like he has hay and everything there. Where did I put that rabbit's foot? Where? Oh, where? There it is. Perfect. Now I'll put up the log. Benito. And there we go. To the community center. Away. And keep your eyes out because we were one one plant fiber away from getting the the loom up and running and turning that wool into something we actually can use. We just need one more stinking plant fiber. There used to be plant fiber all inside there. I have no idea why it's not coming back. What are you doing up here? You're not going to go into the community center, are you? You're going to ruin the surprise. No one knows this is happening. No one in the in the village knows that this restoration project is afoot. There we go. One pomegranate, three apples. All we need. All right, let's get to the... Um, Let's get to the forest before it gets too dark. Because I, I mean, it's going to be dark when I get out there anyway, I feel. But let's just try to get there so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I get wrecked, kids. I got a horse. None. No plant fiber. Come on, game. You gotta spawn some, sometime. Like, that is a material that people have to use in this game. It would be nice if you would spawn it. Whoops. I just jumped on, off, and back onto my horse. There's none. Not even the farthest reaches, not even the farthest corners of the map. Not just the littlest, bittiest, babiest bit of plant fiber. The answer is no. Oh, that stinks. I remember finding some over here, but that... I don't know how long that's going to take to come back. Is that plant fiber? No, it's a tree. Oh. Same thing last time. I thought that was plant fiber, but it's a tree. Uh, that's not plant fiber. None of that is. I don't feel like... No, those are all trees. Alright, well, it's getting too dark again. Oh, that's annoying. Let's just go double check. Maybe maybe the plant fiber had a kid overnight. That's a tree right there, isn't it? I think so. Yep. And if it was if it was something we could plant, I, would, I mean that'd be one thing. But if we have no control over it, I mean, come on, you gotta actually spawn it. This this part over here could actually use a um. I could use a, a light. I'm going to go ahead and just like chomp some of this down, which I guess is kind of dumb because I'm trying to let this grow back up, but I feel like that's going to grow in and that the chickens aren't going to do too much of a, make too much of a number on it. Yeah. The cows and stuff. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't have enough land. This map is great. And I like how unique it is and it actually looks different the original map but it is difficult to lay out stuff and grow stuff you have all these little terraces and stuff it's just odd i mean i like it i do but it would be nice if there was just like one big meadow i could devote to growing ah it's 12 yeah we gotta go to sleep all right now we can just leave the horse there the horse finds its way back to the stable you don't have to do anything special 
The only thing that would be nice is maybe go to the shed and maybe cash in the little bit of mayonnaise that I'm sure is there. Let's just see if we can get there right quick. Is that plant fiber right there in front of us? Uh, we didn't get anything. No, oh, those were trees. Oh, I think those were my mahogany trees I just killed. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I think that's ma the mahogany trees that I planted to get, you know, we don't really need the, the hardwood, but I think I just killed it. One of each. And then, boop. It's good to me. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Okay, and all that stuff goes away. And, yep, we just slide in here. Couldn't get a lot of money. 4000 yeah. I guess it's up to 30000 so we're about $20,000 away from... From getting the extension onto the house, which is the nursery, right? So we'll have the nursery next. Let's see if Obsidian's Edge is kind of in the mail. Ah, ha ha ha! Oh, that's fantastic. And. Oh, why can't I move? I can't move. What'd I do? I can't turn anything, I can't move. That's interesting. Is the time ticking by? Time is ticking by. I just can't move. I can't even hit escape. I can't bring up E. Oh, am I typing? Typing. Okay. Well, we had a hard crash here. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, we can see that the sunflowers are ready to rock and roll. That the... Uh, that the wheat's ready to go, that the purple cabbage is ready to go. It's Friday, so we can go, we can go grab seeds. This is going to be a wonderful day. Well, sorry I can't go back inside and, and sit down and, and do the proper sign-off. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but, you know, after playing this game for how many hours? 50 hours? We have our first little bug, so that's not bad. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We're literally one pomegranate, three apples away from being done with this playthrough. And we're, I think, at like 97, 98. So we're probably going to be done by episode 110 because we have to wait the three or four days to get into fall. And then we'll have to wait the three or four days in fall to get the apples. So it'll be about 100, an episode 110. We'll be done. And then we'll have to move on to a new game. Uh, don't quite know what that's going to be. Um, might get back to the hunting uh, game. Might get back to the, the golf game. Don't really know. I used to have a schedule. And you're, you're probably wondering what happened to that schedule. It just, it got too much. It got too much trying to keep up with the schedule and playing games that I didn't really want to play. Playing games that I felt I had to. And the channel didn't really grow as fast or as aggressive as I thought it could have. So I don't really see the point in sticking to the schedule anymore. If there was, you know, a thousand people out there, then they would... I would assume most of them would want the schedule to be kept because, you know, this is like part of their ritual, but uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case. So anyway, long story short, we'll be back uh, in this game in a couple of days from now, uh, trying to wrap it up. And until then, hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.